So before I start this video, I just wanted to quickly pop on here and speak for a little bit because I've been very vocal on my Instagram about Black Lives Matter and just educating myself more on my own privilege which is why I've taken a little bit of time away from YouTube so that black creators and black influencers have this time for their voices to be amplified not mine. To me if I don't speak about it on my YouTube then it feels very disingenuous because YouTube is my bigger platform. YouTube is my my platform i just i feel like i've got a little community here and so i just wanted to talk about it and address it um and say that i am educating myself on these topics which to be completely honest i wasn't educated enough i think a lot of white people can agree that they weren't educated enough before and it shouldn't have taken george floyd's murder to to make that pin drop but the only thing we can do now is move forward with that and continue to educate ourselves and so though although the protests will stop we need to keep going and we need to keep fighting for black lives and keep calling our family out calling our friends out and making sure that we can fight systematic racism together. I have a long way to go. I'm gonna make mistakes and I, I wanna be called out when I do so. With that being said, I'm gonna donate the ads for this video to a various different charities and causes around both the protests that are going on at the moment to black mental health and to black LGBT. I'm gonna leave a massive, really good resource in the description box below, which will lead you to loads of links to donate to, loads of petitions and loads of resources. I'm gonna leave it all in the description box below so hopefully you can educate yourself further and hopefully donate and sign petitions if you can. There will be more ads in this video than you would see in a normal in a normal one of my videos please don't skip them because when you skip them that reduces the amount of ad revenue that i will get for this video we can make a change but it starts with us individually please don't skip my ads i do hope you enjoy the video i appreciate the the topic of the video is completely unrelated but every little helps and i'm hoping that this does just a little bit so i hope you enjoy the video Okay, so I've already had about four coffees this morning and I regret it, I really do, because I feel like my heart rate is already going to be raised and this video is, is going to make it more raised because it's unedited. And if you've been around for a while, you'll know that unediting... Wait, what? Editing video... Wait, no. Unedited videos is not my thing. Yeah, so this is this is new territory that we are venturing into. We're gonna jump on this trend. I am gonna leave the link to the original video because um, obviously this is not, I didn't make up this video. Obviously, you know that because you would have seen loads of these other types of videos. I'm not gonna get my parents to read these to me because mm, I can't do that. So instead, I am going to ring my friend who has access to all of the assumptions. I've not made this very clear at all. So in today's video, I am doing the quick fire assumptions tag. And if you haven't seen any of these videos before, you basically get 10 minutes to answer all of the assumptions that were sent to me on my Instagram. I haven't looked at them. I have given my friend access to my Instagram to get the assumptions from. So I'm gonna ring her, then I'll start the clock. Do I need to say hello at the beginning and stuff? Or and you can just leave yeah. it. Yeah, I'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> so I rang my friend Emma, you can say hello now. Hello. <laughs> and we have tested that you can in fact hear her through the camera. So I've got 10 minutes on the night hour is not what I want for the timer to end. What should we put at the... We're just doing a laugh. Ah! Okay, so I'm gonna set 10 minutes on the clock and you're just gonna ask me the assumptions and we're gonna go from there. Ready? I am terrified. Okay, ready? I'm really nervous. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> okay, I've got a quick start. Okay, three, two, one, go. Um, so a classic one to start with, you'd happily live with this golf forever. Um, yeah. Yeah, fair. Well, with other <laughs> things, obviously. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> if you win the lottery, you'd be sensible with the money. Uh, yes. Ah. You have a body count of three or more. Yes. You used to be a dancer. No. <laughs> what? I can vouch for that. <laughs> you were the popular one in school. Uh, n no. Um, you have been stalked before, in brackets, P.S. you're amazing. Oh, um, no, I have <laughs> not. Uh, well, I've had a really weird interaction before. Um, in that someone, someone was messaging me 
whilst I was at the gym and they were like, are you are you in the gym right now? This is on Snapchat as well. And I had to block them in the end because they kept messaging me. So, they, yeah, that's weird. So, yeah, a weird, a weird, weird interaction. Mm. Um, you don't want to do YouTube for much longer. Uh, no, not true. I want to do it as long as I can. <laughs> Um, you don't mind lockdown that much? Um, to an extent, yeah. Like, I think personally, I've, I've not, like, I'm very privileged in how I am right now. And I think being a, um, introvert is serving me quite well at the moment. <laughs> For sure. Um, you get a lot of male attention. No. <laughs> um, someone said, be real good at saving the money. I am good. Or I'm not good. You are good. I am good. Yeah, I would say I'm quite relatively ish good. <laughs> yeah. Um, um. Oh gosh. Chai latte or matcha latte? It's not really an assumption, but you know. Chai. Fair. You thought chokers were a cool fashion statement in high school. <laughs> I'm literally. I've styled. <laughs> I've styled one of my necklaces right now to look a little bit like a choker. So I would probably say yes, and still they are. <laughs> Um, there's about five questions on this. One saying you've got a thing for Miles, one saying you fancy Miles, one saying you're secretly dating Miles. <laughs> so just sort of Miles. <laughs> <laughs> Miles question mark. Um, yeah. so, no. <laughs> That's what you have to say. <laughs> <laughs> Miles question mark, no. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I mean, Miles are not secretly dating. True. I'd be surprised if you suddenly came out with it. You were. <laughs> this is the big uh, reveal. You're scared of spiders. Yeah, no, actually, no. I used to be. Not anymore. You're scared of being in a committed romantic relationship. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, you're a Hufflepuff. No, I'm a Gryffindor. Um, you wish you did a different course at university. No. No, I liked my course at university. I, I literally wouldn't have picked anything else. If I hadn't have picked nutrition and dietetics, I wouldn't have gone to university. I think I've said that before, but yeah. Mm. Your brother has helped you out for a lot in your life. That's cute. Yeah, I'd say so. Um, someone says you don't love Biscoff as much as you say you do on your channel. Oh, controversial! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I do. It's not like I eat it for the camera. Like, I, I, I'll, eat it like I'll eat it away from the camera as well. <laughs> I, I love Biscoff, I really do. <laughs> um, you're body confident and you don't care anymore. Um, I wouldn't say I don't care, I, I definitely do still care, like we all have good and bad days, but I would still say I'm confident in myself. Um, there's two that say you like dogs more than cats, and one that says you like cats more than dogs. Oh, controversial. Um, I like dogs more than cats, yeah, yeah I do. What? You say what? Yeah, I never I yeah, really cats are a bit questionable because all my cats just like kill things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is really sweet. You would be the friend that stopped and waited when someone tied their shoelace. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, unless we're running late. <laughs> <laughs> I hate being late, so I would probably still be like, come on, but maybe I would wait. I wouldn't <laughs> run away. <laughs> um, you were popular in high school. Um, what, t t to a degree? I'd say you were, you were pretty cool. I, think. <laughs> I would say probably up until year 11, then I moved school for sixth form, and then I say I probably wasn't in sixth form. Mm. Um, you, you had toxic friends? I've had toxic friends. Um, no. Not really. No one that I can particularly think of. No, I would say so. Um, your blood is 30% Biscoff, 40% peanut butter and jam, and 70% mirror dancing. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> that is my blood type. <laughs> you don't care if other people aren't vegan and you respect their decisions slash choice. Yeah. You annoy your family every day? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, you get tired of people asking about your eating disorder and assuming that you're a recovery page. Ooh. Oh, that's strong. Um, n no, and it's not like I'm tired of it, um, but I still stand by the fact that I'm not a recovery page. So it's not that I'm, 
I don't, I, I basically, I don't get annoyed or hate it when people ask me things. It's just that I kind of put my story out there and do videos that I do to help others. But I also kind of want to show other aspects of my life and like that is sort of the main part of my channel. Um, but it's not like I'm tired of it. Obviously I still want to help people endlessly but I want to be more than just that part of my channel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, you're clumsy. Yes. <laughs> um, you're very easy to be friends with and quite outgoing. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm outgoing, but you can answer I'm easy to be friends with. You are very easy to be friends with. Thank you. <laughs> Although that kind of doesn't sound polite. Be like, yes, she's... <laughs> you know? <laughs> but she's fine. <laughs> she's, she's okay. <laughs> um, when you go out, you go hard. Um, and I used not to, intentionally. not intentionally, yeah, I don't think I have a very good limit for myself, but it's not like I go out very often, so I'd probably say no, maybe, no? I'd say no. Um, someone says you want to have kids young, and someone else says you want to have a lot of kids. Um, I don't want to have a lot of kids, I want to have a adequate amount of kids, and I would like to have them, not young, but like when I'm ready, but I am very broody, to be fair. Really? <laughs> so it is what it is um you would never buy from a fast fashion company uh yeah i've kind of stopped i mean i wouldn't never i would never say never because i think that anything people can do is helpful um but yeah i wouldn't actively search in a fast fashion brand to look for things yeah um, touchy subject, you have no clue what you want to do in the future. <laughs> Me! Uh, um, yes, this is great. Yes, absolutely. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, you love the Spice Girls. I'm not sure where that's come from. I do love the Spice Girls. I think I've got quite a bit of the Spice Girls on my playlists, so maybe that's where that's come from. And also, that's the Spice Girls are great. Um, you did drama school when you were younger. When I was, like, really, really young, I think I did. And I took drama at GCSE. It was a bit of a travesty. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, it was not good. It wasn't good. I had to do like a little solo performance. Like everyone had to do a little solo. And my subject was really dark anyway. And I had to like pretend to cry on the stage. And oh, it was so embarrassing. <laughs> god, so glad I didn't do that. Um, you're a bit of a bitch when you first meet people. <laughs> no. I would yeah. say if anything, I'm shy when I first meet people. Yeah, I'd agree. But some people take that as rude, though, don't they? Yeah, that's true. That happens with me all the time. Yeah. Um, your house is super big and in the countryside. Uh, yeah, probably. Oh my god, there's a huge hornet outside my. Okay, it's gone. Jesus. Um, <laughs> yes, it, we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, your family always went to church. Uh. One said you believe in God. I. Oh God. Um, we did always go to church when I was younger. I went to a school that always went to church oh my god um and no i do not believe in god i believe in i don't really know what i believe in to be honest if i'm gonna be completely honest i believe in like faith and i respect everyone's religions but personally i don't think there is one like being oh my god <laughs> um you're anxious that you can't edit this video yes oh my literally i'm shaking right now oh my god i'm sweating oh uh, someone else says you're a class gymnast, which, I mean, do they watch your stories? <laughs> <laughs> Me when I fall down. Um, no, I am not. My handstands are getting better, but I am nowhere near a gymnast. <laughs> um, you don't like asparagus? <laughs> <laughs> I love asparagus. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, consumption when you're around. That was the timer. What was the last one there? Oh, it's a bit of a dry one to end on. Oh. Let me see if I find you a different one. Okay. Oh, wow, the video it literally just got to the bottom. Oh, look at that. We're ending, we're ending on Do You Like Asparagus? <laughs> no, 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 I'm going to find a better one to end on. <laughs> oh, you put on a posh accent for YouTube. That's quite good. No. <laughs> yeah. I, think I sound exactly the same in person, I think. Do I? I think. Do I? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I just have, this is just my voice. Although your voice through the phone now doesn't sound like you. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, oh that's still some good ones. Controversial then. People are gonna now gonna think I'm acting my voice. Thanks, Emma. <laughs> no, it's just your phones make your voice really ugly and horrible. Wow. <laughs> No, I'm just trying to do that so that if people think I have a manly voice, it's the phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I do not act posh. I don't think you sound posh at all on your... No. My my mum just brought me up to always pronounce my T's and, like, she was really, like, big on, like, enunciation. Mm, I used to get threatened so, with elocution lessons when I didn't use to um, speak properly. Yeah, so I think... Yeah, no, I don't put it, put, put a voice on. It's just how I speak. <laughs> well, that's the end of the ten minutes. <laughs> that went quickly. It did go very quickly, and it actually wasn't as bad as I um, thought it would, so I can breathe a little bit more and, like, relax now and start editing the video. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't really edit it. Yeah, no, I can't. But thank you so much, Emma. Uh, thank you for having me. I hope I did an adequate job. You did. You did very much. I will speak to you in a bit. Have a lovely day. Thank you, you too. Bye. Bye. Love you. I really hope you can hear what she's saying. <laughs> that actually wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, although I am still really hot and sweaty. But I hope you have enjoyed this video. I need to calm down a little bit, actually. <laughs> but I hope you all have a lovely day, and I will see you in the next one.